So if you've been active on social media recently, you might have come across these weird photos or videos of really abstract though cool looking art pieces. Although it might look like something that a talented digital artist might have poured hours of work and sweat into, you might be a little shocked to find out that they were actually made by a complicated algorithm in a matter of mere seconds. Compared to the hours, days, weeks or even months it takes a real artist in flesh and bones to come up with something like this. Hearing that, your first thought may be, damn, that's really cool. But your second thought may be, digital artists will definitely go out of business. On that you might be right, but let me tell you why I think that might not be quite the case, at least for the near future. First of all, we should talk about what exactly is AI generated art and how does it work. You may be tempted to think that AI art is the newest technology on the market, but that's not true. Art generating AI has been around for quite a long time. In fact, the first AI generated artwork was created way back in the late 1960s. One of the first significant AI systems is Aaron, developed by Harold Cohen, beginning in the late 1960s. Aaron is the most notable example of AI art in the era of GoFi programming because of its use of a symbolic rule-based approach to generate technical images. And what did the first AI-generated piece of artwork look like? It looked like this. A vague old painting depicting a man wearing what appears to be a black suit. This painting was sold in 2018 for a whopping $432,500. I know that it doesn't look like anything too spectacular, but please keep in mind that this is the late 60s we are talking about. In comparison, here is what an image generated by DALI, the hottest AI currently on the market, looks like using the exact same prompt I used earlier. As you can notice, AI art really did come a long way. So, now that we have clarified that, how does this magic AI art nonsense really work? AI systems work by combining large sets of data with intelligent iterative processing algorithms to learn from the patterns and features in the data that they analyze. Each time an AI system runs a round of data processing, it tests and measures its own performance and develops additional expertise. This is also called machine learning. In simpler terms, AIs use large databases of all sorts of pictures labeled with terms describing what is depicted in the picture. The AI looks at a bunch of pictures of, let's say, ducks and horses and goes, Cool, now I know what a duck is, I know what a horse is, and this is what a duck riding a horse may look like. Using prompts such as an astronaut magician floating in the ocean or a sunflower cowboy riding a headless horse, We'll first tell the AI to remember what a sunflower, a horse and horse riding looks like based on the thousands of images it has seen and analyzed in the past. After that, the AI will generate a very blurry based image and add more and more details to that image until it looks like the desired result. These layers of detail are called iterations. Every new iteration is the same image with a little bit of extra detail compared to the previous one. The final iteration is the result of the image generating process, as you can see in this example. This doesn't mean that the artwork can't be taken any further. You can always ask the AI to come up with more iterations, but after a while there really won't be anything left to improve. So, now that you know how this art generating technology works, let's talk about its rising popularity over the past few months and the inevitable problems that will come with it once it gets in the hands of the average consumer. As we've already discussed, art generated by artificial intelligence is nothing new, so why do you start hearing about it just now? Well, I believe the reason for that is the recent release of DALI and Midjourney, the most sophisticated art generating AIs currently available to the general public. Stunning images like these are going viral on popular social media platforms such as Instagram and TikTok, and many people are hopping on the gold rush by trying to sell these artworks as NFTs or printed art. This means that everyone out there with a computer and internet connection can now create incredible paintings and images, no arts degree required. But is this really a good thing? Sure, it's cool that you can now create your own wallpapers and stuff like that knowing nothing about graphic design or art in general. But what does this mean for the real graphic designers or artists? You know, those people that are trying to make a living out of art? Unfortunately, the future of the professional artist looks a bit grim, as these robots are about to turn the starving artist into the dead artist. As we can predict, this technology will only become better and better over time to the point where companies will just hire a guy to type prompts for the AI to handle instead of hiring actual graphic designers. Artificial intelligence might really take our jobs, but I believe that our livelihoods are actually safe, at least for the time being. Because as talented these AIs may be, they are not quite skilled enough to create seamless realistic designs, at least not yet. Usually companies are looking for clean and precise designs for their marketing and at the moment artificial intelligence is not quite advanced enough to replace the judgment and expertise of real graphic designers. 
Therefore, if you're a designer or an artist, you shouldn't go looking for a different career path just yet, as real human expertise will always be necessary in any industry regardless of the AI implications. As for how this will affect the future of art, only time will tell, but it's a guarantee that we will start seeing artistic concepts never before explored by our human minds.